I'm a little nervous, so you know, just bear with me and all. We were in, what were we doing? It was like a youth, a youth meeting. And we were trying to pick titles. And everybody said their titles, and I just said my one. And all of a sudden, I end up preaching today. But um, what I chose was the sky is not the limit, it's the exception. Because I heard it. I, I don't know where I seen it, but I, I seen it somewhere. And I thought to myself, I said, Hmm, that, that kind of makes sense. Because there's so much more to what the naked eye can see. So, I mean, out there you have the universe, you have the atmosphere, but I think when they say the sky is not the limit, it's the exception they're saying, you don't have to limit yourself to what you do, you can go beyond that. So all the talents that God gives you you go and you use those gifts beyond what you think that you need to use them for. So if you sing, you don't have to just sing to your church. You know, you can sing to strangers. You can go to a, a homeless shelter and sing for people. You can go to prison and sing for people and ministry to people. You don't have to just hold it back for yourself. You can share it. As in also, um, you can go beyond what you do in your regular day. I mean, saying good morning to somebody is one thing. You just wake up. God is good, God is great, nobody, nobody just, everybody just wakes up, they don't, they don't say thank you for waking up sometimes, because, you know, every day is not promised. God is the one that wakes you up every day. You don't have to wake up, God decides whether he wants to wake you up or not, or if he wants to take you upstairs to heaven with him or not. So, I'm just saying, saying good morning could also help somebody just in a regular day. You see a stranger. And they, they could be having a bad day, and all of a sudden they hear that word, good morning. You just, run up, you just bright, brightened up their day. You even know. But I'm going to pray first because, you know, I need some prayer. <laughs> um, so you can bow your heads to close your eyes or whatever you want to do. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing all these people here today. Thank you for using me as a vessel so I can speak to the people through my body through my mind, but all these thoughts and these words are actually yours. Help me preach and let them understand what you want me to tell them. And bless everybody as they leave, bless them if they go to work or going to school or whatever they have to do. Bless everybody over this Labor Day weekend because of everything that's been happening with the police shootings and everything. Just, just make sure that you can keep everybody safe and watch over everybody, amen. Oh. Also, I also got this title because I have a friend that really likes Toy Story, and as Buzz Lightyear says, to infinity and beyond. And I think when you think about to infinity beyond in a religion sense, in a religious sense, to infinity it doesn't end, and beyond you're going further or past the point. And I think that's kind of like to infinity and beyond is like going to God because God has been there from the beginning and he's never ever gonna leave you. And he's beyond what you can see. I mean, you can't see him, but you can talk to him. He might not be there when you need him, but he's there. I mean, he, not, he might not be there when you want him, but he'll be there when you need him. So, and also uh, to infinity and beyond, you always just need to push past all the, the blockage and the problems that you have sometimes, you can just speak to God and he'll come to you, through you, and then he'll just help you out because, you know, God makes a way out of no way and he's always there. I also want to, I also had a, a song-ish type of quote that I want to sing a little bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've had my share of ups and downs. Times when there was no one around. God came and spoke these words to me. Praise will confuse the enemy. So, you know, just talk to God and he'll bring you out. 
Because you know, the devil, the devil's always there to bring you down, always. He's always, he's in here, y'all don't see him. But you know, God, he's up there, he's watching, and he's making sure that the devil does nothing to anybody in this church. He's always watching. Also, you never want to limit yourself to what you can do because God gives you these talents and he wants you to show things. You know, Jesus never limited himself when God brought him to this earth. He never limited his prayers, his miracles, you know, on the people that he needed to pray on or bless because Jesus, he knew he was supposed to go to infinity and beyond. He knew. So if Jesus can go to infinity and beyond, why can't we go into infinity and beyond and help people? So, you know, when God gives you these talents, you need to use them on a daily basis, you know, saying good morning, smiling to people, just making up their day and doing what you need to do. Honestly, that is it. That is all of my sermon. I honestly, I did not, I didn't have a lot to say because honestly, God is always there. So it's like, you don't, you don't need to hear a full 10 minute, 25 minute, 45 minute sermon from me so you know what God needs to do for you. All, honestly, all you need to do is go out there and, and talk to people. There's strangers outside. I know everybody's been talking about how they want so, much, so many children in the church and we need to have community day and bring people in the church. But honestly, if people don't want to come, you don't have to make them come. All you have to do is just, when we have community day, just say a prayer. Just say a prayer, one prayer. Honestly, one prayer can touch one person. Y'all don't even, you guys don't even know. One prayer can touch one person. Somebody said a prayer to me, and I was so touched. I don't remember what the prayer was, but somebody said a prayer to me, and I was so touched. It's just, God is just so good. He is just so good. just when you have so many problems in your life God is just always there he's just always there to help you you know sometimes people they don't have God so they go out there and they kill themselves and they don't know they didn't know that God was there in the beginning like since the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God so you know God was always there and people people some some people just need that in their life they just need God I know I need him I need him all the time and I talk to him all the time to help me through my problems. And he's just so good. He's so good. Uh, that's it, honestly. I just, I just want to say that to him again beyond, just go beyond what you need to do. That's it.